you know, again, it's just all about kind of keeping covered up and uh, relying on my clothing as my layer of protection rather than sunscreen, which comes off with sweat and has to be reapplied. Hey my friends, Lay Boy Scout here. For those of you that are interested in what I wear when I go hiking, I'm just gonna run down sort of from top to bottom what I'm wearing. And this is pretty typical regardless of how far I'm going or how long I'm gonna be out. I just like to cover up when I'm gonna be in the outdoors. So uh, let's go over it. From the top, I've got a nice little army boonie hat. This is obviously in the desert camo pattern. It's made of 50-50 uh, nylon and cotton. Um, the only reason I got this pattern is because it's the lighter colored of the ones that I found and it's because because it's the one that's nylon cotton. So I don't get too hung up on the pattern of the color. Uh, white shirt obviously, this is all 100% polyester. It's made by Royal Robins and it's a nice ripstop uh, fabric with a lot of great pockets and it's just an extremely useful uh, shirt to be having on in the outdoors. It's totally vented back there and my back is completely soaked with sweat right now so that's really nice. Um, I might have gone with a different color if I'd found it for a better, for a good price. Um, the white one I found is, it was, I think it retails for 60 or 65, but I found this white one for like 25 bucks or something. So I, I don't care, you know, the color doesn't bother me too much. And obviously, honestly, the white uh, has some great advantages. It reflects the sunlight and it keeps you cool while keeping you covered up. So why not get white? Um, Obviously got a little paracord, got a watch. It's the XG55 made by Lacrosse. It's um, not expensive, not that nice, but it's got some pretty neat capabilities for the price and for what it is. So I like it. Uh, the pants I've got on are 100% nylon. They are zip-offs, but I almost never zip them off. Pretty much always keep them, uh, keep the legs on them. Uh, again, just for the cover-up factor, I like to—I don't like to rely on sunscreen to uh, protect me from the sun. I like to just cover up in, in light um, clothes that aren't heavy and and um, you know breathe really well. And this nylon from this nylon, these nylon pants from REI just breathe really, really well. They actually also, in addition to zipping off, the uh, the bottom legs actually zip all the way up. So I could just kind of zip these all the way and open them up like that, in addition to zipping them all the way off. Uh, the boots I've got on, my Timberland Flumes, they're well broken in by now, probably 30 plus miles on them. Maybe more than that. i would be probably a lot more than that, actually. Um, they have EVA midsoles, which means that they're eventually going to sort of collapse in that department and just not give me much comfort or cushion. For the money, they're great boots, but they are going to wear out. They're not going to last me 10 years. What else? Socks are just, I think, Dickies socks from, from Walmart. Just uh, some 50-50 poly cotton, I think. Just work socks, but they, uh, they work really well. And that's what I wear on the trail. The shirt might change, the pants might change, but they're very similar. Uh, I've got a few other things in the closet that are very similar to this. That um, you know, Again, it's just all about kind of keeping covered up and uh, relying on my clothing as my layer of protection rather than sunscreen which comes off with sweat and has to be reapplied. That's about it. Just wanted to take a second to talk about how I cover up in the outdoors. I'm the late Boy Scout. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.